There's got to be more in these files. in that report. I know it. Insured replacement value for the house is $900. Current value of the house and land is $3,500. Christ, how many of these dumps are we carrying on the books? I have a Detective Phelps of the LAPD here to see you. Have a seat, Cole. Where's the go-between? She's awful easy on the eye for a foreign girl. Does that private dick patter actually work on anyone, Kelso? It's not your style. You were always a little more direct. This is your dime, officer. Would you have helped me if I asked, Jack? Chuck on the shoulder, shot of Semper Fi. Fuck you, Cole. Be a man. Why send a woman to do your dirty work? You're a cop. Why do you want my help? I thought a PI might be a little more discreet. I'm no gumshoe. I used to be an investigator for this company before your investigation got me fired. I'm sorry to hear that, Jack. I'm sorry about a lot of things. Is that an apology, Cole? It's a feeble attempt at one, yes. Look, Jack, it's a murder case, and I need help to solve it. So what's it got to do with Elysian Fields' developments? They're in it somehow. The flyers keep turning up whenever I find a domestic fire. They're boosters. Stiffing GIs for deposits, making them wait months for a throw-up house. They're already making more money than they can count. What's turned them into killers? So you believe me? This is why you dragged me into the Buckwalter case. Look, Jack, I'm sorry. But if not for me, do it for some of the poor saps who are dying. Or some of the leathernecks who are getting grifted. How about it, Jack? I know you, Cole. You're still beating yourself up over that medal on Sugarloaf. The medal you think you didn't deserve, but you just don't get it. Nobody deserves a medal. It's just the ridiculous situation you find yourself in and how you react to it. You think you failed up on that hill. But courage isn't a tap you can turn on or off. Courage isn't permanent. It's a tenuous and fickle thing. Courage and cowardice exist in every man. Get over it. You got it off your chest. I guess I have. Can you help me, Jack? I'm thinking about it. The Hall of Records is the place to start. Hello there. The Land Registry Office. Where is it? Just up the stairs. Thanks. I'd like to see the company details of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Certainly, sir. Just this way. All those suburban sons of bitches ought to be listed in here.
Courtney, for God's sake, what's he got to do with this? I'd like information on a plot of land. Okay, do you have the address? Not exactly. It's a new lot. I have the coordinates. 34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. All right, that makes it a bit more difficult. Come with me. I believe that is in the Wilshire area. Four degrees, four minutes, 29 seconds north, 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. Lot numbers one eight seven six nine eight eight. Unfortunately, that is just the beginning. We have at least a million lot numbers in the Los Angeles area. The registrations are in alphabetical order. You need to convert your lot number to a letter. How do I do that? Over here. Use this adding machine. There are ninety thousand entries to a book, so divide your lot number by ninety thousand. One eight. Seven six nine eight eight divided by ninety thousand. Yes, One million. 876,988 divided by 90,000. starts at zero, so you want to add one to your number. 21. That number is your letter of the alphabet. Once you have the letter, find the right aisle, and you are in business. You do this every day? Let's see what the site is worth to them. One eight seven six nine eight eight. The book value is three fifty. With the new home in place. The improved value of the property is 3500 They can make a killing. But how do they pull it off? You know why I plumb for the caddy? The extra trunk space. One thing you learn in the war, boys, you do your talking once the smoke clears.
I need a word, Courtney. That's okay, Jack. You, you didn't need to come all the way down It's here. important, Courtney. How can I help? Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. What are you talking about? Don't fuck with me, Courtney! Jack, I swear, I don't know what you're talking about. How does your name appear as one of the investors in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? You're out of your mind. I was down at the Hall of Records checking on a property company called Elysian Fields Developments. Their funding comes from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Seriously, Jack, I have no idea. Your name is there, Courtney, with some pretty interesting company. The mayor, the district attorney, some dirty cops, and your buddy, Dr. Harlan Fontaine. Dr. Fontaine? Spill it, Courtney. I want all of it. Fontaine and the rest. Fontaine took the morphine off our hands. Look, Jack, I know you said to get rid of it, but it's okay. I did something good for once. He reinvested the money for us. That's it. That's what's happening. They're building houses for GIs, Jack. I turned a mistake into something beneficial, something that's going to help out the guys. Courtney, they're building matchstick houses. They're going to burn them for the insurance money. They'll probably stiff the poor bastards for the deposits. Please, Jack. Say it isn't so. Harlan's a doctor. A good one. He helps out a lot of people. Looks like he's helping himself, Courtney. You're the fall guy. Who's asking? Leland Monroe. I was wondering when you'd get around to calling. I'd like to meet with you, Mr. Kelso. I bet you would, Mr. Monroe. But I value my skin highly enough to not want to meet with you. Why don't you just send some more of your boys around and we'll have a nice cup of tea? You realize that I could make you a very wealthy man, Mr. Kelso. Better than $220 a month? I'm going to have to let it slide, Mr. Monroe. Are you haggling with me, Jack? I might be. Come around to my place at 9. 5164 Santa Monica Boulevard. You'll come? I might. Good night, Mr. Monroe. Must be his blind spot.
What's your problem? I appreciate the help, all of you. We can reminisce later. I want a minimum of noise and no prisoners. No prisoners? This isn't Pele Lu, Jack. These guys are grifting GIs. That's what they do for a living. It's OK, Jack. We all feel the same way. It just hasn't turned out quite the way we imagined. Let's get it done. Teams of two at the ready. Surrounded and your buddies are dead. Somebody put some fire on this guy. That's it. Out of ammo. Hold the perimeter. I got personal business with Mr. Leland Monroe. You can walk out of here or go out in a...
You're a very sweet-looking girl to be holding such a big gun. I know how to use it, mister. I'm sure you do. So how about pointing it over there in the direction of Hollywood instead of at me, princess? You're quite the wise guy. I don't normally shoot women, princess. How about putting the cannon down? Didn't think you had the guts, sweetheart. I was never very good at reading women. Monroe, where are you, damn it? This is what I'm good at. You can walk out of here or go out in a bear. Almost out. Need a new weapon. Jack Kelso. That's my opening negotiating position. Who's oh, you crazy son of a bitch? How did you get in here? 
I'm bleeding to death. Get me a doctor. I thought I had an invitation, Monroe. Your boys outside were certainly expecting me. <laughs> That's my second offer. <laughs> you sadistic bastard. <clears throat> what do you want? I'm going to take a look around, Monroe. Then I want you to tell me what you know about the mayor and those Trojan houses that you're building. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Remind me what they say about absolute power, Monroe. Fuck you, Jack. Ah. Call me an ambulance already! Dr. Fontaine, I need to speak with you urgently. Sit down, please, sit down. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. It's the fund we are using to channel money into the development of new houses. Why is my name on the board of managers? Technically, you are a major contributor. Please, Courtney. Those houses are a sham, Doctor. They're gonna be burned for the insurance. That's a scandalous allegation, Courtney. Do you have any proof? Jack Kelso, an investigator for California Fire and Life, has seen them. He was almost killed when he found out what was going on. I don't know what to say. I feel that I have been duped. Who do you think is behind this subterfuge? Jack says it's a property developer named Monroe. He said it goes all the way to the mayor. You cannot have believed that I was involved. I don't know what to believe anymore, Doctor. I hoped that you weren't involved. Thank you for your trust, dear boy. Be still, Courtney. All of your troubles are finally over. Let them go. Let them. Drift away.
That's a hell of a payroll. I'm guessing Benson's portfolio is only a fraction the size of yours, Monroe. Smart. Keep the dirt on Fontaine under lock and key. This is your insurance. Some sold up. The others obviously didn't know the links these sons of bitches would go to. It can't be stopped, Kelso. There's too much money at stake. Kingdoms rise and kingdoms fall, Monroe. Ask the Emperor of Japan. Have some fucking mercy! Operator, put me through to Phelps, arson squad. Yeah, Biggs, it's Jack. I'm at Monroe's. He's in a talkative mood. If you get here in a hurry, you might get something before he bleeds to death. <clears throat> Elsa. Oh, thank God. Where? <clears throat> Fontaine. Dead? <laughs> Former patient. So that crazy son of a bitch finally came back for a checkup. <laughs> it's Monroe. He's raving. You want information, cocksucker. You get me some medical help. I've got to go, Herschel. Monroe's negotiating again. Do you want my final offer, Leland? Tell me how I find the guy who has Elsa. Not Casey. He, he did whatever Fontaine asked. He, he had some kind of power over him. He, he, he did all the fires and, and then he went off Monroe. the rails. I don't have a fucking name! He worked at the bug sprayer. Get me a goddamn doctor! Kelso, you son of a- 